One thing I really loved to do when I was younger were the sticker albums that Diamond released. Do any of you remember those? I filled up Ninja Turtles, California Raisins, Football, Garfield, and um, tons more. I bought those sticker books and I bought the sticker packs. I lived like two blocks away from a store that sold a lot of them. And uh, I'd always collect pennies and walk in with pennies and uh, pay with these pennies when the clerks looked at me with a little bit of a, like, really? You're going to pay us with pennies? You know, these things like 30, 40 cents, whatever, and you're going to give us that many pennies? It wasn't as big a deal. Nowadays, these things would probably cost, you know, several dollars. I'm not sure. Actually, no. Dollar Tree still sells sticker books, and they are a dollar, and I think the stickers are a dollar as well. So, where am I going with all this? Well, I am going right here to today's video. G.I. Joe 1986 sticker album. Let's see if I can, it's still all sealed up in the package. So let's see if we can get to probably right about there where you can see it pretty good without the light gl uh, glaring all over it. I picked this thing up on eBay a while back because someone had an auction. They s had a bunch of them, like 25, I think, or something. Anyway, I was like, I got to get this thing. I love sticker books. So I picked this up and this is a sealed pack. It even shows you right here that says sticker fun includes one sticker album here it is and seven sealed sticker packs there are seven of these and there are six I think six stickers in each no there are six of these packages with seven stickers each so a total of 42 stickers in this package it's completely sealed and totally yeah totally uh, unopened so I've been waiting a little while to do this video while I was in California this last Christmas this last December I had the awesome fortune I say fortune because I think it's an awesome deal to come across a sealed box of sticker album stickers 100 if we look right here at the bottom if you can see that 100 packages are in this box there are seven stickers per um, per us package. So there are, oh, actually not over, there are 700 stickers in this thing. And they sold it to me at a great price. I think it was a great price. As, I, as you can tell, I jumped on, I believe this was the only one and the last one that they had. Don't know if they had more or not. But my day was so happy. I passed up several action figures I was really tempted to get for this thing right here and I'm excited <laughs> I am so happy because I love these things so a little bit about the sticker album um, as I mentioned diamond put it out this was a Hasbro thing that's what the front cover looks like and when I open it up you'll see more the back cover has the live the adventure artwork on there one of one of the best pieces of art as far as I'm concerned, um, out there for G.I. Joe stuff. This is this was a very inspiring piece of art. I don't know if, there, if there's very many of you guys or people out there that will say that this wasn't a really cool piece of art. This is one of the few things that I would actually love to get, maybe in a blown up size as either a poster or, hey, let's go crazy, a framed, a framed picture. So anyway, I'm excited about this. The sticker packs themselves. Actually, let's let's uh, go back here. The album itself was originally 39 cents, and if you're in Canada, it was 49 cents. It's right up here. And the sticker packages themselves were 29 cents. Oh, can you believe that? 10 cent difference between the book and the stickers. And in Canada, 35 cents. Right there is what it says. So this is really cool. So give me just a moment. I'm going to, and actually, when you look real close, you can tell this is a, definitely an older looking uh, header there. And the nail here is rusted. So anyway, I am going to open this right now on camera. Try to decide, should I, pr I think I'll carefully pry the nails open here. I know, I could probably get me a nail puller. 
And I gotta be careful the rusted one, I suppose. I don't want to poke myself. Poke myself, and I'll probably bleed on accident with that one. But we're gonna open this thing up and try not to poke ourselves, so I have to go to the doctor. There we go. I think I got this open well enough. I don't know if you can see the nail sticking up there. We can just kind of pop this off gently. There we go. It's off and it's open. Well, it's kind of open. Let's pull away this plastic. And whoosh, there it is. And I'll reach in while I'm at it. And pull out the stickers. Oh, that's a feel. That's a feel right there. This takes you back if you bought stickers or sticker albums. To uh, you picked them up off the shelf and you took them to the cash register. And you. Well, for me, drop those pennies in the clerk's hand and it says 1987 right there, but this is a 1986 book. Okay, I'll, uh, let me uh, set this off to the side here. Don't need it now. Probably won't throw it away. Might just hang on to it. But we'll set that right there. Man, these stickers. These are great. Um, yeah, these are, these are great. So anyway, what's on the back? It says, remember, trading your sticker doubles with your friends will help complete your collection and save money too. That's true. Good advice. Here, I'll just kind of show you the back of it there real quick. Now, one thing here is, that's cool. I like, this is great. Anyway. I'm going to open to the back page. You know, who reads the back of the book first before they start? But anyway, there's the back. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention one other thing I'll say in a minute. But anyway, there are, let's see, it says 225 uh, stickers. 225 stickers in this book. So we can all do very simple math, I hope. If there are 100 packages in here, seven stickers each that's 700 i'm gonna start opening these things and see how well i won't do it on this video i probably will do it off video because it could take a while this would actually be a really awesome thing just to do on a live stream probably and maybe i'm missing a really awesome opportunity but just gonna open these things up and maybe i'll do like a time lapse video i don't know exactly what i'll do yet but whatever i do i probably will tag on to the end of this video but uh, anyway, look at this thing. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. This is great. This thing, as of today's viewing or today's date, is 30, 33 years old. Came out 33 years ago. So let's look inside here. Oh yeah, so one thing I was going to mention, it has a top secret decoder. And what that means is, look at this. You see all the kind of the red box stuff and uh, these types of reddish things. You put the decoder on top of it and it will make the picture look clear. So one of the interesting things I'm noticing about this, and I'll kind of do this sideways if that'll help. Here, let me move my chair a little bit. So as I'm looking at it, you can kind of see parts of this too. But one thing that is different about what I remember from sticker books is it looks like you put the decoder on top of this. I'm not going to pull the decoder out, but um, usually you don't know what the stickers are until you put the stickers on there. It's usually just like a box, but this was really interesting how you could look at this picture with the decoder before you got the sticker. That's kind of neat. So what's in this book? What exactly is the story in or around this book? Well, it is some G.I. Joe cartoon episodes turned into sticker story form, I guess. The first one, story number one, and with my more adult, mature eyes, I can read through this stuff. Anyway, the first story is The Spy Who Rooked Me. And that's this one right here. 
And actually, you could get the story because under under these boxes, it told you, it read you the story. And who knows? Maybe that might be a fun thing to to read through what they've got in here. So the spy who rooked me was the first one. And let's see, where's the next one? See if we can find. Oh, what's this? No. There's only a couple stories in here, if I remember right. That says sorry. Let's see. Oh, here's number. No. Top secret, it says. Zzzt. My phone is making noise in the middle. It's trying to interrupt the video here. So. Maybe there was only one story. No, no, no. Here's another one. Oh, here it is. So we got Ninja Holiday right here. Remember Ninja Holiday, the episode where there's like no ninjas in it? What was it? Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, Beachhead, Low Light Wetsuit, I think, were the main characters. Oh, and Sci-Fi. Oh, Leatherneck. Okay, right here. A group of brave Joes consisting of sci-fi, beachhead, low light, uh, leatherneck, and wetsuit. So I got a few of them. And then, uh, let's see, that's page 18. So it may only be the two stories. Very careful. I don't want to rip this thing. So, yeah, it looks like it's just those two stories. The Spy Who Rooked Me and Ninja Holiday. Now, there's actually some pretty cool art in here trying to see if there's any uh, credits here's a neat uh, piece of image with hawk and mainframe and roadblock version 2 roadblock and uh, let's see here's the the havoc let's see yeah it's kind of hard to see uh, through my camera lens what I'm pointing at but ooh, these Joes have gotten their headgear mixed up your decoder will correct that so it looks like we're looking at four fig four figures, four G.I. Joes with the wrong hats. And it looks like uh, Low Light over here is wearing the Sarge's hat. And it looks like, I'm guessing that's Stalker. Is that Stalker? Oh, <laughs> if I read under the names, Leatherneck looks like he's wearing Low Light's helmet, um, knit hat. And Hawk is wearing Leathernecks, and Sergeant Slaughter's wearing Hawk, so figure that one out. And over here, Code Breaker. Use your decoder to crack the secret code. And it's Beachhead looking at mixed up letters. So I'm guessing that when you put your decoder, which is right here, the magic decoder, on top of that, then either the blue or the red letters will disappear. Actually, it looks like the red letters will disappear because I can read the blue letters. Cobra. Cobra, W-E-A-P. Oh, Cobra Weapons. Uh, tr transport. Nah, it's okay. I'll do another video or I'll do something else that talks about this a little bit more. We got Serpentor's Air Chariot and says, Who rides on the Air Chariot? And if you use your decoder, you'll see Serpentor there. G.I. Joe Personnel Files. Stickers. Now, what does Roadblock here? Right down here. And it looks like there are some ninjas right through there. Sergeant Slaughter. Who leads the Joe team? Use your decoder to find the correct answer. So it looks like it's Sergeant Slaughter. But when you hover, put your, uh, not hover, but you put your decoder on top of it, it's going to say who it is and I won't spoil that surprise let's see here's Big Boa right there Big Boa Codebreaker G.I. Joe's are comrades try always to, res to treat them with respect hmm. and then we have Outback looking through some binoculars what does he see we'll have to use the decoder this is fun there's a map and compass and knife and some bullets. This is a kid's book. It's got bullets. No I'm kidding. There is a Destro. Is Hawk defenseless, it says. And uh, there's Hawk standing there yelling, Yo, Joe. So now we're up to Cobra personnel files. There is the Tomahawk. Identify this helicopter and its pilot. Oops, I gave away a secret surprise. There is an ammo belt with a couple grenades on it. 
Let's see, what else is here? Ooh, more personnel files, top secret. So I'd be curious to know if these stickers actually have the words that I you can read here or if it's uh, images. You must, oh, it says you must collect the two stickers, two stickers numbered to make up this top secret personnel file. So I wonder if they're like um, file cards. You have two stickers that look like file card, has a picture and a little bit of information. That's neat. You can't read through this one with the decoder. There's Sergeant Slaughter again with Ninja Holiday. There is a Cobra symbol right there. And what's the matter with these Cobra soldiers? Looks like they're giving up to me, if you can see that. And over here we have Sci-Fi, and he is looking at a screen, an old-style screen, and he's saying something. And what else is in here? Another code breaker with Dial Tone. Uh, use your decoder to tune in on the secret communications. So, and here's Leatherneck, a direct hit, it says, and he's firing the guns. Actually, it looks like, makes me think of a weather dominator, ba dominator base with a gun on top. What's he shooting at? Is it a cobra? Is it a fang? A trouble bubble? Is it a fang too? A glider? Surely he wouldn't shoot at a glider. Anyway, here's low light. What's he spying? He's looking out at those clouds. What's hiding in the clouds? Maybe rattlers? Night ravens? Here is the thunder machine. Can you identify this vehicle in its driver, it says? So the vehicle identification is right there with the driver right there. We all know that's the awesome thunder machine. And this is probably a picture of Thrasher. I'm getting close to the end. I just had to go through this with you, though. Super Code Breaker has Sepentor over here. Use your decoder to discover the message written below in Morse code. Then use the code key at the bottom of the page to learn the names of the two brothers and a sister who do Sepentor's bidding. Hey, that's kind of cool. That's like a double secret message. You use the decoder here to find the right Morse code, and then you decipher it down there. That's getting clever. That's real clever. And then top secret message, send by courier. Subject is what? And there's a couple pictures here. And I don't know who's a picture. It's a, there's a little bit of a name, but I can't read it well enough. It may just be a picture that they put in there. Here's Raptor. Look at that, Raptor. Use your decoder to unscramble the secret message sent by Carrier Falcon from Cobra Headquarters. 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. When short February's done, all the rest have 31. Your pal, Fuzzy. Which Cobra agent's name does Fuzzy? I don't remember a Cobra Fuzzy. Hmm. I guess... The secret message is under that. Although, for all you customizers out there, get to it. You have a cobra named Fuzzy to make. That'd be fun. Why don't you make... Uh, anyone who wants to make one and, and uh, tag me on Twitter. Here we go. This looks like a, an amalgamation of maybe Outback and the Headman and Sergeant Slaughter. I don't know. This man claims to be a government agent. Who is he really? U.S. government with a briefcase that I see a gun in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a triple T, positive identification, triple T. Who's the driver and who is the vehicle? We have a snake, a snake. Over here, the last page. We have the General Hawk right here. Codebreaker, Hawk has a special, me special message for all G.I. Joes. And by all, that means the team we know and you and me we are all gi joes so for message for all gi joes cool and then on the back page you know i'm gonna say this is yellowed a little bit this doesn't look like the bright white that i well let's flip this thing around and drop it hey kids wait till you hear about this announcing the diamond sticker collectors trading club this was really cool in that um they allowed you to mail in your duplicate stickers to the company and they would send you some you needed back. Um, it's actually kind of cool. I'm going to show you this in a minute to show you how yellow this actually is. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Um, what you would do is you'd say what stickers you needed and send doubles back and then they'd send. I guess that was if you were somebody who was out maybe in a rural area 
and you didn't have friends or maybe if you're in a city and you didn't have friends um it was just really cool they made and they made a, a, night, a way for that to happen anyway let's see if you can see how yellow this is if i move this away can you see this white spot right here where this was covering the whole page is yellow except for that area right there that's kind of funny that is pure white that is crazy what this is here is a checklist it's a sticker collector's uh, album checklist from diamond and you can title it with the name of the album so in this case gi joe it looks like it was pretty standard in the day to have 225 stickers because that's what's here uh, two, uh, the numbers 1 through 225 with a little uh, box next to it. You go through and maybe that's actually what you were supposed to send in to Diamond. So, Diamond Sticker Trading Club. Free bonus. All club members will receive back with their orders a colorful assortment of big scratch and sniff stickers. Just for books, bags, and any place. I never did that. I would always buy and buy and buy. I was the sucker kid that they wanted. I would buy and buy and buy to try and complete my albums. I didn't know anybody who bought albums, so I never traded with anybody. I should have done this. I could have completed a few albums, probably. But I bought a ton. I don't remember specifically having this particular album. Uh, and it's possible I did. I had a lot of miscellaneous G.I. Joe merchandise. So much, uh, these days, I don't remember. But this is neat. You know, I think I may have had this. I don't know. Oh, here's another one. The Decoder... I don't know if you can tell with the lights, but there's a where the decoder was. This is a big white area there, and everything else is yellow. The uh, interesting thing is the cover is really fascinating. It's got different um, a different feel. This is a gloss kind of a cover, and it's a matte inside. This has turned yellow. As you can probably tell this is the white color it should be, but the GI Joe logo and the stripe are really they're holding their own it's a nice white so it's interesting the types of paper i don't see any information here who drew the artwork oh i stand corrected right here cover art mike zeke or zek probably zeke and phil zimmelman the album design was jim Engel, and the art is stan i'm not pronouncing that name and jim Engel. So there we go. That's who... So Stan and Jim did the interior art while Mike and Phil did the cover. And we all know Hasbro did that because this was part of one of the brochures, one of the catalogs. That's great art. Now, if this wasn't here, I'd almost say this is a good enough size. What is this? It's not quite 8.5. It's bigger than 8.5 by 11, I think. This would be a cool thing to just mount like right here or something i don't know so that's that i've got one two three four five six seven of these packs interesting one two three four five six okay let's do this again one two three four five six seven why is that important because this either was an error or this lied to me because right here it says seven packs of six each seven packs of six each 42 stickers seven times seven in my book is 49 so they wrote that wrong it was seven packs of seven each it says right there seven full color stickers hope you don't mind that this is a little bit longer video but there's a it's fun to talk about this so real quick before i head off um i'll end this video i might open this real quick but let's open up one of these and you can see what the stickers look like now what would be curious is if any of the stickers have yellowed the stickers were glossy let's open oh that opens that is satisfying right there don't ask me why it is stickers the stickers are nice the stickers are nice stickers are nice sorry 
Okay, so what do we have? So we have these. This is what the sticker looks like. This is what the back of the sticker looks like. So it has the number in the top right corner. I'm sorry, top left corner. It says collect these stickers in the G.I. Joe Collector's Album. If you already have the sticker, trade it to a friend for one you need. G.I. Joe. So what did I get here? I got dial tone right here. I got the spy who's about to get run over by a car. And I got the armadillo with at least dial tone. I don't recognize who the other one is, but the armadillo with dial tone on it. I got Sergeant Slaughter, da, 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 Sergeant Slaughter jumping over a fence. I got the general, General Hawk. And I got the right side of Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> and I got some mountains with a really tiny portion of a stun. The guns and the like the front right tire, front right portion of the sun. Stun, not the sun. So that's what the stickers look like. They're only about that size. This is neat. This is cool. This is great stuff right here. This is this is great. Okay, so one more thing before my camera. My camera um, has a limit of 30 minutes and I'm hitting 27 right now, so I've got to wrap this up. So one thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to open this. There's a, a spot right there. I just kind of want to open it and show off what it looks like on the inside. Slide this packaging off. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's a bit of a suction. Now this is a bit dirty and a bit gritty. This box is actually the display box. When the store will put it out, it'll pop open this right here. It's got the original tape. It's not holding anymore. Anyway, you open this up. Let's do this real quick. Open it up. And you've got the store display box built into the package. And all these sticker packages. All these sticker packages. 150 on each side. We'll make that assumption. All the... Whoa! <laughs> all these stickers. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about doing this yet. But that's what I wanted to show you today. Something I've been anxious and anxious to open and show on a video. Sorry, it took a little bit longer. I hope you've stuck around. And if you have, I really appreciate it. But the G.I. Joe 1986 sticker album. This is kind of a, a look through and a review of it. It's a great thing. If you have the opportunity to get one and you enjoy the stuff, get it. If you don't want it and you have kids, get one of these. Give it to your kids. Let them open it. If you don't do sticker books, that would be a great little thing to do. Um, I gave my girls some sticker books a while back from Disney Princess, and they love those things. So if you got a kid, they might like stickers. Give them something like this. Find an old one. doesn't matter if it's old. Open it up. Put stickers in it. It's great. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this, please uh, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Yo, Joe.